If you've always wanted a portable projector with Android TV pre-installed, then the Anker Nebula Capsule 2 might be the all-in-one portable solution you've been looking for. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Just look how small the Nebula Capsule 2 is. It's literally Android TV in a can, and it comes with built-in Bluetooth speakers for one of the most comprehensive entertainment packages that can just about fit in your pocket. I'd say the design is superb as it's sleek, unassuming, and to be honest, it has a real weight to it that gives you the Nebula 2 a premium feel that I don't think many other portable projectors can really match at this sort of price point. There is the obligatory cutout window at the front for the projector itself, along with the Nebula logo, and up top there are capacitive touch buttons for control of the Android TV UI. At the rear you also get a power button, IR receiver and the switch button which turns the Capsule 2 into a basic Bluetooth speaker. The port selection is by no means massive but there is a USB Type-C charge port, USB-A port, full-sized HDMI port and a 3.5mm headphone connection if you want to stick in headphones or an external sound system. So of course the biggest selling point besides the form factor is the fact that the Capsule 2 comes with Android TV installed, although there are a few minor issues. You do get 8GB of internal storage and RAM is low at 2GB, but it is enough for solid performance viewing YouTube and navigating the admittedly small menus of the Android TV in the Pi flavour. Of course the biggest glaring omissions are the lack of Amazon Prime Video, which is now available on Android TV, and the even bigger still Netflix omission. You have to sideload Netflix to get it working, but Anchor has made that stupidly easy thanks to the Nebula Connect app. It comes with a dedicated Netflix installation button that adds the streaming service to your portable projector. The Nebula Capsule 2 also comes with a Chromecast built-in, which does mean that you don't even need to install any apps on the device if you don't want to. And I think this is a feature that really makes a Capsule 2 probably one of the best portable projectors out there. Of course, you can still head to the Google Play Store and install applications if you want to, and the fact that the Android TV build comes with assistant support too means you can even ditch the remote and control your projector from your Google Nest and smart home speakers. I think it's these little things that help round off the package and experience pretty nicely. As for that all important image quality, the 720p projected image is actually pretty crisp and clear and the Capsule 2 comes with a one second autofocus to adjust and tweak if you move or wobble the projector. To get the best image though, you'll want a matte white wall, but there are controls to adjust angles if you can't place the projector perfectly. That said, for perfect placement, you've got quite a solid range of between 23 to 121 inches from a wall or surface to project a viewable image. I'd say you get the best results from between 40 and 80 inches. Once you're in that sweet spot, colors, contrast and clarity are great in most lighting conditions, but you don't need me to tell you that the quality will drop if you try and view in bright sunlight. Pulling your blinds or curtains closed will naturally make a massive difference to the overall clarity of the image. As for the sound, the Ilmilt speakers don't sound too bad at all. They are not going to replace a dedicated sound system, but with good placement the audio has plenty of bass when watching movies and gaming, but for better audio be sure to plug in some external speakers. The Capsule 2 comes with a 9700mAh battery, which means that you don't actually need to be tethered to a power outlet to enjoy any movies you download or stream over Wi-Fi. In my experience, the battery can last in or around three hours, which is just about enough time to watch mainstream movies or a couple of episodes of shows like Game of Thrones, for instance. Having a USB Type-C charge port is amazing too, as you can use your existing charge cables, and from zero to 100 takes around about three hours. But for portability, you can always plug in a external power bank for that extra longevity. So I think in summary, with a price tag of over $500, the Nebula Capsule 2 is definitely not cheap, but for portability, interface experience and quality, it's a superb portable entertainment system that leverages the excellence of Android TV and Chromecast, with a little extra here and there to make it a really exceptional purchase. It even has support for Kodi for those that want to truly cut the cord and bring their entertainment system with them everywhere. As always, let us know what you think of the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 down there in the comments section, and we'll leave links down there if you do want to check this nifty little projector out for yourself. With all that said, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks again for watching and I will speak to you later.